Hey guys, Philly Pie Smoker here. Again, thank you to everyone who commented and uh, uh, took part in my contest. Just shipped the second box out today. Um, and it uh, looks like I'm still waiting on one address from Terry. Uh, I sent him an email. He might be on vacation, so I'll check back with him. Next week, he's the one that won the uh, grand prize at St. Claude. Uh, 100 or so year old pipe. So, um, you all know that recently I, I found online a new on smoke 1987 uh, Savinelli pipe of the year. Um, I've been on the hunt for another one ever since, and I've, I've seen a few, and they've gone a little bit too much. I didn't want to spend as much, that much for them. So, uh, I was able to find one that, that I missed out on a buy it now price. <clears throat> and then uh, the gentleman relisted it, and I put a bid on it, and I won it. So I got it actually for what I wanted to spend on it, which was which was not which was less than the uh, buy now price. Uh, very nicely packed. And uh, I started it. I opened the box because it took me about ten minutes to get through it. It was so well, so well uh, taped. And it's it says. Distributed by 7LE Pipes, Morrisville, North Carolina, which I think is Pipes and Cigars. I think they're the 7LE uh, authorized dealer. It's a 1994 Pipe of the Year. Let's take a peek at this baby. Also, was, I don't know if anybody ever uses these. I, I don't I don't like the taste of the wood. Um, at, least, at least I think I can taste it. Um, See what she looks like. Nice. These these are not small pipes. Some of the Savinelli pipes are small. These are not small pipes, as you can see. They're uh, they're both uh, pretty good size. This has a uh, dark brown finish. This one has a combination uh, rusticated um, and smooth. And there's the uh, 1994 collection. Uh, signed, all of them are signed, and acrylic stems, which I don't like the uh, the vulcanite, and the color of that briar. Um, you probably can't see it, but the light's really horrible. Let me see if I can. Uh... There you go. See inside. So beautiful ball, uh, drilled perfectly. Uh, nice and deep um, just a really neat pipe um, I don't have any of this shape so there you go my new 7LE collection and finally I was uh, watching Colin Kelly the other day and he, and he talked about a shop that, that has been talked about before McCraney's I think it's in North Carolina and uh, if you order tobacco they do business the old-fashioned way they you, you go online you register you place your order and um, they send you the order with an invoice and then you send them a check back. I did note that if you buy a pipe, I looked at their pipes as well, they will send you an immediate PayPal invoice <clears throat> that you can pay. I, you know, they don't want to get stuck sending out a pipe and somebody would sniff them. So. This I worked on for a long time. I could not get this thing open. As you can see how much I butchered it, how badly I butchered it. But um, So I just tried a few, few tobaccos from them. Um, this one is McClellan's 221B Series Honeydew. Um, I don't know, I don't see that it has a, a description of it, um, but I'm gonna give that a try. It was actually 2012, so it's got a, three years on it. That's pretty cool. So, good, good. Give that one a try. I think that's a flake. And then I ordered a couple of their tobaccos. Um, I ordered uh, my reserve from McCraney's. Let's see what this that smells like. Hmm. Certainly not sweet. Hmm. Virginia, it's. I think it's just going to be a more of a pure tobacco flavor, which which I like. I don't like casing. So. And the other one that uh, actually Colin talked about, so I had to order some, was Curry Tuck. It's one that it made his top five for 2015 so far. Let's see what this one sounds like. 
Oh, same thing. It's just got a nice tobacco smell to it. I don't know if you can see this tobacco, but it's beautiful dark color. Um, and I just ordered two ounces of each just to try it and uh, see if I like them. So I think I'll fire this up right now in my new 7 Ellie. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, all the great comments and um, uh, participating in the contest. And hope you all have a great day.